All right, there's nothing more annoying than downloading an app or visiting a website only to be forced into creating an account before you can even take a peek inside. I'm Kurt the Cyber Guy, and if you want to stay up to date with all the latest tech, head over to cyberguy.com and sign up for my free newsletter. Now, these account creation prompts are like a digital roadblock preventing you access to an app or site you're not even sure you'd like to use just yet. Luckily, there is a super simple solution called Sign In with Google. With just a single click, you can bypass the annoying account setup process for most websites or apps. Granting third-party apps permission to your Google account not only speeds up the sign-up process, but it also ensures a consistent experience. Unfortunately, when signing in with Google, you also give up some of your privacy. Google will have access to all the accounts you signed on to, and they can monitor your activity. They can even later use that info to target ads toward you. What's worse is that not all third-party apps are trustworthy, so it's crucial to verify the safety of these apps before welcoming them onto your devices. First off, you should sweep away the cobwebs from your digital doorstep. Pop over to the website myaccount.google.com slash security dash checkup. You see it on your screen there. This nifty tool will shed light on any suspicious activity related to your account, along with any devices associated with your profile your most recent activity, your saved passwords, and most importantly, which third-party apps have access to your Google account. Next, examine the list of apps connected to your Google account and ask yourself this question, do I really need this? If you spot anything suspicious or unnecessary, it's time for a clean sweep. Removing unwanted apps is a breeze. Click on the app in question and hit remove access. Then confirm by clicking OK. Keep in mind, once you cut the cord, the app won't have access to your data or Google account anymore, but if you change your mind, you can always rekindle that connection later on. For more tips on how to secure your devices, visit cyberguy.com, and while you're there, there it is, sign up for my free newsletter.